I'm Leighton Curry, Head of Clinical Engineering Services here in Tala Hospital. Um, we manage equipment throughout the hospital, medical device technology, uh, on behalf of the uh, entire campus. And our role um, has led us to develop an RFID system in-house, um, initially through our medical equipment library, but um, as an extension of that, we've also developed a system to work in our uh, Reeves Day Surgery Centre and uh, additionally in our new Vartry building for renal dialysis unit. The systems to date have proven to be valuable across all three projects. Um, as an extension of that now we are working on some RFID tagging of um, handsets for beds uh, at ward level and uh, the new RespireSense project within the hospital, we've also RFID tagged uh, those devices so they can be easily tracked um, and located within the ward and uh, ward areas. This is our uh, asset printer and RFID printer. It has the capability of not just print and asset tags, but also because we have RFID labels, we can actually encode the hex number from each individual tag uh, to the asset number which links back to our asset management system. Printer, we use the printer here to print off the, the tags here in the department. Um, they're all unique, we have full control over the, uh, the tag numbers, uh, the print layout, uh, the whole design of the tag itself. Hi, my name is Neil Tilly. I'm a clinical engineer at Tally University Hospital. The clinical engineering department use handheld RFID scanners in the medical equipment library to track medical devices as they move to and from the medical equipment library to healthcare settings. The handheld RFID scanner works by picking up signal from passive RFID tags placed on medical devices. Clinical engineering are testing a fixed RFID system in the Vartry renal unit. This system is based on the same technology used in the medical equipment library. It is intended that this system will allow healthcare staff to track their medical devices as it moves through the Vartry renal unit.